Now, Donald Trump, well, he has a different plan. Just Google Project 2025. It is a detailed and dangerous blueprint for what he will do if he is elected president. Donald Trump will give billionaires and corporations massive tax cuts, cut Social Security and Medicare, make it easier for companies to deny overtime pay for workers. He would get rid of that $35 cap on insulin for seniors. He would impose what I call a Trump sales tax, a 20% tax on everyday basic necessities, which will cost the average American family $4,000 more a year. And on, on top of all of this, Donald Trump intends to end the Affordable Care Act. And he has no plan to replace it. Did you see the debate? He has concepts of a plan. insurance coverage of 45 million people based on a concept? Come on! And take us back to when insurance companies have the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions. You know where I'm going. Well, we are not going is a fight for freedom. Like the fundamental freedom of a woman to be able to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. Because we know Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. And now, more than one in three women in America lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban, including right here in North Carolina. Many of these bans have no exceptions even for rape and incest, which is immoral to tell a survivor of a violation to their body that they have no right to make a decision about what happens to their body next? That's immoral. And let us agree, let us agree, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree it shouldn't be the government telling her what to do. her pastor, her rabbi, her imam, but not the government telling her what to do. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom, as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. North Carolina, across our nation, I'm telling you, I'm traveling, we are witnessing a full-on assault on other hard-fought, hard-won fundamental freedoms and rights, like the freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to love who you love over